Hi there, my name is David Rennie, I'm 57, I work as an HGV driver for a partial company, taking partials down south, um, night shift every night. Um, my day normally starts when I get up in the morning, which is a bit different from everybody else because I work night shift, um, which is one o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I'll normally have a shower, um, and my wife comes home at lunchtime. Um, so I'm normally up and get a shower and sort of her lunch, um, which is usually try to be healthy, which is usually oat cakes or um, fruit and yogurt or something like that. Uh, just something light because um, I start quite early in the evening, so we don't want to have a big lunch. Um, so we'll normally sit out the back, or if it's uh, bad weather, we'll sit and watch the news or something on te television or, or for, for half an hour or so till she goes back to work um, and then I've normally got some chores to do so I'll, I'll uh, do some housework or something or go to the shops or whatever um, and then uh, my wife finishes at three o'clock uh, so um, if I've still to do some stuff we'll still get time to go and, uh, and do some stuff in the afternoons uh, if it's just a, even a walk or, or, or stuff like that um, and then we'll sort dinner uh, which is usually about half four or five o'clock um, which is quite early from what we used to do um, uh, but I start at uh, 6.30 in the evening so uh, we'll normally have that done for half four or five and then I'll get ready for work um, we we'll sometimes watch a bit of TV right enough before, before I head to work um, a bit of rubbish on the television, so uh, but I'll get ready for work about quarter to six half, uh, and head out just after six. Um, I work locally, so it's only ten minutes to work. Um, so I'll get in about twenty past six. I'll I'll go and log on the computer, um, which will be my start time at night. Um, there's usually a couple of girls in the office. So I'll speak to them, um, then I'll go out and do the my vehicle checks, do all the um, check around the vehicle, just make sure everything's roadworthy. Um, there's usually a couple of guys start after me, so I'll go and I'll check their vehicles as well, just to make sure there's uh, no punctures or anything like that on them. So as it's if, it, if there is, it'll be fixed before they come into work. So they start a bit later than me, so I'm usually first. Um, once I've done all that, I'll go and get a coffee. Um, I usually get a coffee for one of the other guys in the warehouse, so I'll take that into him. And because he's still loading the trailer at night, because um, all the vans will pick all the parcels up during the day, and it will come back to the depot and get loaded onto the trailer for heading down south. So um, uh, we'll just stand and have a coffee while he finishes loading the trailer, which is usually done for about quarter to seven, seven o'clock. That's my my time for heading, uh, so once that's done he'll seal the trailer up and I'll go and get my paperwork, um, get out to the truck, get things started, pull it off the bay, make sure everything's fine, stick a padlock on the back um, and then that's me, uh, hit the road, usually about seven o'clock, um, it's three and a half hours down to just outside Preston where the main uh, sortation hub is. Uh, so I'll take uh, three and a half to four hours depending on traffic. Um, sometimes there's road closures or diversions and things. So, um, so obviously music's a big part of things because that gets you through the night. Uh, you're listening to, I'll normally just I'll normally just listen to the radio on the way down. Um, I'll stop at Southwaite normally for uh, fuel, uh, which takes about ten minutes. Um, Sometimes the other guys from other depots are in at the same time, so you see them. And, um, um, once we've done that, uh, we'll carry on again. It usually takes about another hour and 40 minutes to get there to the depot. Um, because the trailer doesn't fit, it's a bigger trailer than normal, so it doesn't fit through the gate. So I've normally got to meet my changeover. Um, because the trailer I take goes straight down to Birmingham. Um, with not enough driving time, it goes straight down, so there's normally somebody there to meet you. 
um, I'll hunt and hook the trailer um, and he'll then hook up to the trailer uh, we'll help each other do that um, and then a uh, quick check around make sure everything's okay uh, then we'll discuss what maybe the journey's been down and uh, what's maybe going to be shut further down south so he'll he'll do that and then uh, he'll go on his way um, and then that's me that's my three and a half hours down there and I've now got maybe two and a half to three hours before uh, my freight is ready to come back up so I'll normally go for a, a wee sleep for an hour or so um, there's a bunk in the truck so you can get into that and uh, I'll go for a sleep for an hour or so and then um, once I've done that I'll set my alarm I go and meet one of the other guys because I've got to swap trucks to there's a different truck I bring back up so I'll go and meet him in the yard um, we'll, we'll change over we'll just discuss what we've been doing during the day or um, things like that was what we're doing at the weekend and things but um, we'll change over uh, the stuff over and then uh, I'll go in in the office, see the guys in the office, see them for anything different happening and I'll go and sort my, myself a coffee and then I'll go I've got a flask uh, which I'll go and fill up uh, sort myself a drink for the way the road back up um, so the, we normally leave again at 2 in the morning if everything's went ok, if everything's running to schedule um, the guys are normally sorted all the parcels, everything's loaded onto the trailers again and um, the stuff is to come back up to Scotland so um, I'll then go and hook up to the, the truck that I'm bringing back up uh, do all our checks um, make sure everything's okay, get our paperwork and then um, we'll head out the gate, the security guy will go around and check everything, make sure your seals are the, the correct seals and you're taking the correct trailer out um, and then that's me heading back up the road again that's normally about 2 o'clock, maybe half 2 if things are running a bit over time um, so it's the same again, three and a half hours back up uh, to the local depot um, normally during the night I'll listen to different things, sometimes I'll listen to podcasts or uh, different types of music, it gives you a good chance to listen to even certain albums or, or different genres of music which um, I'll listen to anything really, anything that's new or um, some, obviously I was born in the 80s, well I grew up in the 80s so it's uh, a kind of big part of what I listen to but uh, I'm open to anything so uh, it gives you a good chance to listen to a lot of stuff on the way up the road um, not a lot happens most of the time, sometimes you'll come across accidents or uh, road closures so you know, that can make things a bit interesting at night um, running through wee villages and, and things like that so that can slow you down at night but on the whole it's pretty straightforward so I'll get back into the depot about um, half six-ish in the morning um, I'll put it onto the, reverse it onto the bay, uh, the guys will uh, open the back up and start unloading the trailer uh, meanwhile I'll do all my, my, my checks as well, make sure everything's still okay with the truck um, then I'll go in, I'll speak to the, the manager, make sure everything's okay and uh, I'll uh, finish doing my paperwork uh, usually takes about half an hour and then I'll, I'll log off um, head up the road, which is 10 minutes up the road um, so that's when really I have my breakfast then I suppose um, I'll go in, I'll get a bowl of porridge the wife's just usually wakened up so um, we'll have porridge together um, between kind of 7 and 8 o'clock and then uh, I'll get to my bed 
and then uh, that's me until one in the afternoon again and that's my typical day. <laughs>